You are so beautiful, so special. I can't get enough of you. <laughs> and I love the way you love me. <laughs> and I love you even more. No, no, don't answer, baby, don't. Uh, I've got to. It's a private line. Only a few people know the number. Mm. And they're all important. <clears throat> Harmony Recording Studio. He did. You for real? No, no, no. I'm I'm so psyched. Say what? When? No, no. I understand. Yeah, yeah. Later. So who is that? <sighs> Kanisha. Oh, right, um, from the record label in L.A. Yeah, she got the tracks that I sent her. And get this, she loved them so much, she's gonna give me a raise before I even set foot in the studio. <laughs> Jen, that's wonderful, baby. Yes. Oh, congratulations. <sighs> there is one thing, though. Okay, what? Kanisha wants me to start right away. No more delays. I've got to leave for L.A. ASAP. He's no doubt putting the screws to her about something. Damn that witch on wheels. He has enough problems. Liz threatening to expose our past together. Fortunately, Fox may beat her to it. I think I finally figured it out. I believe that you're the father of Dr. Russell's long lost baby boy. I have to tell Eve about Fox, but how do I get her alone? It would be disastrous if anyone saw us together. So father and I argue over his connection with Dr. Russell. Then he heads straight to ye old lobster shack. Why is that? What's my dear old dad up to? I bet that was David you were just talking to on your cell phone. What if it was? What if he just told me that Grace is a wild cat in bed? You are disgusting. No, Eve, I'm winning. Sam will be mine before you know it. Like hell he will. I won't let you take Sam away from Grace. Oh, uh, more empty threats, Eve? I mean it, Ivy. You just stay away from Sam. <laughs> I still can't believe Grace left with David for a pseudo second honeymoon. Sam, you have to believe Grace. All right, she took this trip with David to prove that you are her one and only love. David will realize that he will sign the annulment papers with a free conscience and you and Grace will be free to get married again. And then everything will be back to normal. That's what she told me, you know what? But I don't buy it. If Grace wanted to be my wife, she wouldn't have to go away on some romantic getaway with David to prove it to me. Damn him. Damn Hastings to hell. Sammy, would you please listen to me, okay? You need to calm down. You need to get a grip, all right? Because there will be a moment on this trip that Grace will look at David and David will realize that he has lost her forever and he will never have her again. Grace, I... I didn't realize you'd come back in. Who were you talking to on the phone just now? It sounded very intense. David, do whatever you have to do. Just make Grace yours because I want Sam to be mine. How much did you hear? Enough. So please, tell me, who were you talking to? I don't know what happened to that person we heard scream that awful scream. I don't know. <gasps> oh, my God, that's the state alarm. Maybe they caught the person who was outside the cottage. Maybe they caught the person who's trying to kill you. Wait, you told Charlie that I was here at Sheridan's? I even offered to give her directions, but she said she could find a place on her own. <laughs> Is that an alarm I hear? Yes, damn it, Charlie ran off. Elise could be about to catch her right now, and if, if he does, he's gonna recognize her as Dr. Colbert, and then he'll know that he was set up. And then one by one, all of my secrets are gonna be exposed.
That's exactly right, Betty. You're on your way out. Call in with your credit card number now, and the stunning necklace you see will be delivered to your door within days. My credit cards aren't there. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Dumb ape. <laughs> now, as soon as Luis catches Charlie, everybody is gonna know that you have been lying about being pregnant and then being a cop. Luis is gonna put all the rest of this together in about, oh, five seconds. <laughs> this can't be happening. Reality bites, Betty. Truth coming out, you're going down. She's trying to open the gate. That's what set off the alarm. We got her now. So the good doctor's here. I mean, you look at that, father staring at her like a lovesick teenager. Well, that's interesting. Very interesting. You're not going to get away with it, Ivy. You're never going to steal Sam away from Grace. What's to steal? Sam is free for the taking now that Grace left him to be with David. You've been manipulating this situation ever since you brought David to Harmony. Hmm. My plan is working perfectly. I'm not going to make any mistakes when it comes to winning back the man I love. Oh, maybe you won't make any mistakes with Sam. What about David? What about him? Unlike you, David has a conscience. And what he's doing to Grace is killing him. What's killing him is not doing Grace. <laughs> Poor boy hasn't had any since he came to Harmony. You are disgusting. Oh. And your days of putting out for pocket change and pills weren't disgusting, Eve. We are talking about David. And despite what you are blackmailing him with, he is basically a moral, decent person. And your point, Eve? If something strange happens to people who are basically moral and decent when they are forced to do something that is against their nature. They tend to sabotage themselves, make mistakes. Eventually, I think David will make a fatal mistake with Grace. One that will kill any chance you have of a future with Sam. I, I don't know what you think you heard. It was, it was just a phone call. Was it? Caller ID says Ivy Crane. Why is Ivy calling you? Sorry, this item has sold out. Please, please, Charlie, I am finished. My dream of a happy life with a man I love will never come true. I will lose my grace forever. I warned you, Betty. You turned your back on heaven. Chose wrong over right, and now all your evil ways are catching up with you. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. His wrath is upon you now. <laughs> First you rot in prison, then you rot in hell. No! I don't get through this damn gate. Louise and those men will get me. But how? Got her. Oh my God. Baby, I love you. <laughs> and I want you to be happy. To be a success, you know, to make it big. But we were just saying how we weren't going to let anything come between us. And now all of a sudden, Kanisha calls and she wants you to just, to just jump up and go to Los Angeles right now. Be fair. I mean, Kanisha wanted me out the way before now. And I held off going because of you. I just don't know why we have to be apart. I just can't stand this. We don't have to be apart. Baby, I asked you before to come with me. Say yes this time. Say you'll come with me to Los Angeles. I don't believe it. 
Luis, do you recognize that same woman that tried to kill Sheridan? I don't know. Whoever it was got away. Are you kidding me? Well, she made it through these gates and she's gone. Cut the alarm. Whoever was after Sheridan's still on the loose. Maybe the alarm just stopped. What if they caught Charlie? Precious old baked banana bread. I'll bring it to you in prison. This is all your fault for sending Charlie over here. You, you are getting what you deserve for hurting a beautiful, beautiful woman like Sheridan. I will deal with you later, Mother, and trust me, it is not going to be pretty. Damn it. Beth, why are you so angry and upset? Just answer me, David. Why was Ivy calling you? It wasn't Ivy. It was John. Uh, the, the caller ID says Ivy. Well, you see, John was over at your house uh, reading a fridge for some of your fantastic tomato soup cake when uh, he thought he should give us a call and see how we were doing. And, uh, you know, he put his uh, phone on the table where evidently Ivy left hers too. So, as fuck would have it, he, uh, called me on Ivy's phone by mistake. Oh, yeah. John is going to feel awful knowing that he's upset you. I mean, uh, he has so much hope invested in our second honeymoon. It's always been one of his dreams, you know. The two of us being reunited, the three of us finally being a family again. You know, John's not the only one. This time we're spending together means a lot to a lot of people. And Sam and Kay, Jessica, Charity, Noah. Well, and hopefully you too. Look, David, I, I know that you're hoping I'll remember my past, but... It's just like it never happened. Yeah. I'm sorry, Grace. I truly am. I'm sorry too, David. I mean, for making you go through all of this just so I can show you that I love Sam. I mean, I know you were hoping for something else, but this trip down memory lane, it's just, it's not working. Look, uh, if you want to give it up and just go home, I understand. No, no, you know, we've come this far and you've gone through so much trouble. God knows I'd do anything for you, Grace. You are such a good man. So honorable and noble and decent. Look, if we are going to stay, um, we have dinner reservations. Okay. Yeah, let me get the door for you. David's not going to make a mistake with Grace Eve. He loves her. He wants to build a life with her. A life built on a lie of your making? Okay, I'm all for recycling, but must we have this conversation again? Must you tell me for the umpteenth time what a horrible person I am for bringing David to Harmony in the first place to pretend to be Grace's husband? Or even more heinous, how I let her think that John is her son with David. Yes, and don't leave out making me lie about John's test results. Having me tell my best friend and an innocent young man that they're mother and son when they're not. Okay. You rail on about lies, Eve. What about the truth? You mean your worst nightmare? I mean that even with everything I have done to break up Sam and Grace, she still had the power to put things right with Sam. But she didn't. All she had to do was have David sign those annulment papers, and this would all be over. But, oh, Grace, she's so concerned about David's soul that she forbids him to put pen to paper. Don't blame me. Blame Grace. She went away with David, knowing full well how this would impact Sam and their relationship. This is not my fault, Eve. 
This is Grace's choice, hers and hers alone. So Sam and I are spending a little time together. You saw us earlier. You saw how concerned he was for me. <laughs> he pities you, Ivy. No. He loves me. He's never stopped. And now that Grace is gone, we can recapture our love and our passion. I won't let you take Sam away from Grace. No, come on. Spare me the bravada, Eve. It's old and it's tired. Just like you. Okay, look. If you would just keep your mouth shut about all of this, we'll all get what we want. I'll have Sam, and you can keep your marriage with TC. I know. Maybe the four of us can go out to dinner sometime. God, you're despicable. It was nice talking to you, too. You must talk to Eve. Eve and I believe in you and Grace. And we believe in the love that you two have. And you need to believe it. Believe that it's going to pull you through. I don't know, TC. I'd like to, but I don't know. Look, I got to take this call. It's police business. Yeah, I need to get back in there with Eve. I just came out here to check on you. I appreciate it. Hang in there, all right? I will. Chief Bennett. Yeah. If Liz isn't threatening to expose my past, then, then Ivy is. I don't know I should tell TC the truth. But I can't. I just can't. Eve. Julie. Looks like I was right about at least part of your secret. We're so close to catching her, but after she went out of that gate, she could have gone in any direction. Hey, look what I found over here. It's a knife. What? No, we need... We need to check for fingerprints. Sorry. Not the lab. Check it out anyway. Radio dispatch. Have them send some squad cars down to patrol around the mansion. Good idea. Wait. Look, maybe I'm thinking like a lawyer here, but what, what if all this business about opening the gate was just a tactic? To make us think that she escaped so we'd follow her off the grounds. I mean, what if what if she came back on the ground? She could get back to Sheridan again. Yeah, that's a possibility. That's a good thing we have a guard posted outside Sheridan's cottage. Yeah, we just need to keep looking around the ground, see if we can find the woman. That's what it is. Let's do it. together that she was just using Louise to get it Sheridan but Beth was using me to get Sheridan out of the way so she could have Sheridan's baby and Louise oh. Sheridan you blonde bitch this is all your fault yeah, yeah, Beth would never deliberately hurt me. You drove her to it. You and your, your, your blondness. Making Beth think she needs a man and a baby to, to be happy when all she ever really needed was me. Poor, poor innocent Beth. And you, you rich bitch. Oh, I'm gonna make you pay for ruining my life. I'll make you pay. Look, a lot has changed since the last time I asked you to come with me. You know you want to be a singer now, and I can help make that happen. 
I know. Come with me. Sing my songs. Let's ride this wave and see how far it can take us. Oh, baby. I love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So say yes. Do it for us. For keeps. Thank you. You're welcome. There you are. Sir? Thank you. Your waiter will be with you shortly. From me to you. You know my love. Thank you, David. You know, this place is just lovely. It's so warm and intimate. Would you believe that's what you said on our honeymoon? Did I? <laughs> I just wish I could remember. Well, don't fret. No, let's just enjoy. Wait. I, I can't believe it. Uh, what? Well, you and your husband are back here after all these years. A second honeymoon? Yes. Grace and David Hastings. Nice to oh. see you again. You remember us from so many years ago? Well, how could I forget? I mean, of all the couples who honeymooned here, the love that you two shared was so special that it just took my breath away. Really? Oh, the looks on your faces when you gazed into each other's eyes proved to me that there is such a thing as true love. And when two people find it, it can last a lifetime. And here you are, still together after all these years. I just, I can't imagine how you could remember us after so much time. Well, that should say something about you and your husband's love. You know how special and rare it was to actually see a perfect couple, even here at a, at a honeymoon resort? Yours was truly the most incredible love I've ever seen. Beth, what's going on? You look upset. Oh, um, my mother's new caregiver, um, she made a mistake with her medication. The orangutan? Uh, yeah, her name is Precious. But Beth, orangutans can't read. I mean, how could Precious possibly be qualified to administer drugs? Um, Precious must be drinking again. I, gin and tonic, you know, it's her favorite drink. And I totally don't mind if she drinks when she's not on duty, but... Mother's complaining again that she's drinking on the job. <laughs> um, this whole, you know, situation with Precious is the oddest thing I've ever heard of. <laughs> well, you're not the first person to say that. Next up, items from our safari collection. Bang, bang. Boy, <laughs> send in Charlie. To find Beth with Louise at Sheridan's Cottage, that was a stroke of genius. Mwah! <laughs> now Charlie's gonna get caught, you see? And then, then Betty's gonna be exposed for the wicked wacko that she is, and those two loons are gonna be caged in no time! <laughs> and then, then I can get myself a young male human nurse. <laughs> Start my own version of physical therapy. Yup, this old gray mare could do with a little horsing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you heard right. As soon as Beth gets locked up, you're out of here. Oh, and I'm keeping all that stuff you bought with my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> You're not around to drive Beth crazy. She won't want Luis anymore. Yeah, and I can, I can have Beth back. You have to go, Sheridan. And I'm just the one to send you away. But how? Thank <laughs> you. 
Do it. You'll never know what happened. Yes, you got to just got to think fast and get the job done. Yeah. And if I've got a weapon, all I gotta do is get close enough to share it and use it. So tight. Maybe some fresh air will help. It's sucker to her, darling. To remember us after all this time, oh. after playing for so many couples. Well, I am not surprised. Uh, any children? Yes. One. John. He's in college. He's an honor student. Oh, you must be proud. <laughs> yes, I am. But, you know, it's only just recently uh, that... Grace, we danced to this song at our honeymoon. May I have the honor of doing uh, it again? Of course. Beats me why that guy wanted me to lie. Say I remembered him and the lady from way back when. Who cares? As long as he made it worth your while. Oh. A man with a plan. Mm. Must be a doozy. We must have shared an incredible love for the violinist remembers after all this time. It was, Grace. That's why I so desperately want you to remember it. I really am trying, but... But you can't. No. But you know, I'm beginning to understand how I could have loved you so much. I mean, this place is so romantic, it takes my breath away. Only the best for the one I love. <laughs> I saw you inside talking to Ivy. She's just threatening to expose my past. Grace. God, why? I, it doesn't matter. What are you doing here? Well, I don't want to add to your troubles, but I felt that you should know that there's, there's someone else who's dangerously close to learning the truth about us. Who? Fox. Fox? But how? It seems that my, my son is a very observant young man. What happened on the wharf led him to conclude that we not only were once lovers, but that that we had a child together, the, the baby we lost. Oh, my God, Julian, what are we going to do? I made it very clear to him that if he repeated his suspicions to anyone, there would be serious repercussions. And then, then we're safe? He would seem. Our secret won't come out until we're ready. So, if my dad and Dr. Russell had a child together, did he die, like Dr. Russell said, on the wharf? Or was that just a lie to keep a lid on Coach Russell's temper? If they did have a son together and he lived, I wonder where he's at now. Because it can't be Chad. Dr. Russell ran his DNA and nobody in town was a match. Fox, I didn't know you were here. Hey, Coach Russell. Nice night for a seafood dinner, huh? Yes, it would be if I can find my wife. Have you seen Eve? If Precious, and I can't even believe I'm saying this, has a drinking problem, then why don't you just find someone or something else to care for your mother? Um, because I can't afford human help and, um... Well, as far as another primate goes, there just aren't that many to go around. Mm. But to settle for a simian with a drinking problem. Mm. Yeah, well, Precious is also a compulsive shopper, but that's a whole other issue. Um, how, how is Sheridan doing? Uh, I was really worried about her. You know, Beth, 
You really, you're just too good to be true. I mean, after everything you've been, been through with Sheridan and Louise, I mean, having the man that you love yanked away from you time and again, I mean, anyone else would have been driven crazy by now. How do you do it? How can you be so selfless, so concerned about Sheridan and Louise when they keep breaking your heart over and over again? Taking the men so long. Wonder all you want, Sheridan. <laughs> You're never gonna see him again. <laughs> the Sandman's come to put you to sleep forever. So, do I book two seats to Los Angeles, or do I fly solo? I love you so much. And there's no way I want to be apart from you. So, yes. <laughs> I will come to Los Angeles with you. <laughs> oh, well, you said yes. She said yes. Oh, my God, we are going to Los Angeles. Yes, California, here we go. <laughs> So safe in your arms, David. So safe. I feel so many things when I'm with you, Chris. Things I haven't felt in a long time. Yeah, uh, look, I just have one more call to make. Oh, oh, sure, sure, go ahead, do whatever you have to do. I, I know your job as chief of police is very, very demanding. I also know your father would be so proud of the way you followed in his footsteps. You served our town with such integrity and, and honor. Thank you, Ivy, it, uh, it means a lot. Well, I'll see you inside. Yeah. <laughs> When you finally realize that Grace is gone for good, Sam, I'll be there for you. And you'll be mine. I'll be mine forever. Where's that contact number? Have you seen my wife or not? Yeah. Yeah, uh, Coach, actually, I can, um, I can tell you exactly where to find her. Just trust me. Things are going to be all right. I told you that we'll get through this together, and we will. I'll help you in every way I can. I never dreamed that you would one day be my rock, Julia. The only person that I knew that I could trust. a long way, haven't we? Almost full circle. I, I, I don't know how I can go on like this, Jillian. I, it's been so long and I'm just so tired. I'm so tired of living a lie. Just let me help you. Let me get it right this time.
Fox said that Eve was around here somewhere. So none of your men found anything else? No, sir. I just think the woman Jimmy opened the gate and made a run for it. Oh, I think we should check the grounds one more time just to be safe, all right? Yeah. All right. I just, I, I want the best for Louise. And if Sheridan makes him happy, then I want Louise to be with her. It's as simple as that. You really are too good to be true. Oh, I don't blame you for being cynical, Gwen. Not with a mother like Rebecca. I really wish the men would call us and tell us if they found anyone on the grounds. Yeah, I was just wondering that myself. But at least we know that Sheridan is safe and sound in her bedroom. Where are you, Charlie? <laughs> that, you blondie. Now that you're finished, Beth and I can start over. 